This podcast was produced with the financial support of the European Union and the Council Party. Contents are the sole responsibility of Kills Alert and do not necessarily reflect the views of the European Union and the Culture Fund. Hello, hi, Dumelang Linjani. This is Girls Aloud, a podcast for every woman. All right, um, so Girls Aloud is supported by Culture Fund Zimbabwe. So today we're talking about body image. We are joined by Nobukosi, who's a feminist. She's an activist. Uh, she's also a member of this Girls Table, uh, Girls Table member board. I'm sorry about that. So she's just going to tell us about body positivity. Hi, Nobu. Hi. <laughs> Fine. Thank you for joining us at the show. Thank you for having me. Anytime. So, uh, Nobu, okay, when was the first time you realized that your body is a bit bigger or different from other kids? Grade four, when we're buying uniforms, my okay. size was bigger than others. So that's when I like, got a jolt. Like, oh, okay, I'm bigger than others. So. Okay, were well, you always a big girl? Oh. I was just your average kid. Okay, yeah. but then grade four, you bought it just I like changed. I started ballooning, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, what's your response to, you are not fat, you're beautiful. Why can't someone be both? Um, sarcasm. Usually, I'm sarcastic. Yes. Because people think they own your body. They can tell you anything they want. So, I tell them to go to hell. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. I mean, I mean, people should learn to stick to their lanes. Yeah, that's it's my true. body is not there. So, I'd rather keep your comments to yourself. Okay. So, but then, do the slight comments get to you? Like, I, 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 some, I can imagine. Some days they do. Some days I'll just let it roll. No, yeah. okay, I'm sorry. I, I guess it depends on my mood. <laughs> mood of the day, is it? Yeah. But I don't know if I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'll just put those and say, hey, keep away from me. Okay, but then what's the most annoying thing that people have said to you, like, women's in Baraka about your body? Yeah, look. Wow. I'm sorry. Like, what is your response to that? How did you feel? How did you feel? It's, it's painful. I can imagine. I yeah, can imagine. but hey, you you grow and you're like, okay, these people don't know me. Yes. They don't, don't know, know my story, story. Yes. so whatever they think is fine. The people matter know me. Okay, they yeah. understand you. So, like, there's this assumption that skinny means that you're healthy, and being a plus size person, it means that you're unhealthy. Okay. Uh, I'll speak for myself. Yes. Uh, I don't have all those conditions that are associated with um, being a plus size person being a plus size person like yes. hypertension and diabetes yes uh, there was a time when i had some headaches and yes. stuff i yes. had to get tested my cholesterol count or whatever the test so is called that. yeah okay everything was found to be normal okay okay Fine, one will say my BMI is too high, I'm obese, yes. or what have you, but hey, there's issue genetics, so I've learned to just let some things roll because you can't okay. have people dictating to me, would you, hey, will I hypertension most likely? No, yes. I don't have that. Okay. Yeah. So no fit, feel a fit like an ox? I'm fit as a fit <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, let's just take you a bit back. You said, uh, someone said you want a lock. Can I just ask you your bedroom life? Like, has your size ever affected your intimacy? No, it doesn't. Oh, that was a girl. Moves are moves. It doesn't matter what you move plus size. Yes, those things I think I can't do. Yes, I can do them, girl. Girl, you can be better than, than you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> so it's okay. Yes, people tend to assume. Yeah, that's true. People tend to assume. You don't know what he needs and he to be flexible. Mm-hmm. You, uh, yeah, I'm fine as much as get chips here. Yeah, you can. Flento. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. I love I love dancing. Yes. You oh. do. Okay. I love dancing. Yes. So I think if you love dancing, it means you can. Yeah, just do, those. do anything. Yeah, you can do. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so also there's always an assumption that bigger bodied people are lazy. Like, not a bedroom, but mm. then just generally, what's your take on that? 
No manga, it's a lie. I, I don't know how people, okay, people love stereotyping. That's they true. love making assumptions. That's true. OT, I'm big, doesn't mean I'm lazy. That's true. I mean, even slender people have their lazy days. That's true, everyone. Everyone has their lazy days. Yeah, the lay, you see, Maybe, yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, look, of course, someone will say you're lazy because maybe you're walking slowly yes, or what. Okay. But generally, for me, I'm someone who walks fast. I, I can't stand to be walking slowly. It's, okay. It just kills me. All right. It just kills my vibe. And I love doing things fast. All right. I love getting things done fast. Okay. So for someone to say because I'm big, I'm lazy, it's, it's irritating. I know, I can and imagine. And sometimes, okay, if you say I'm lazy, I'll just fold my hands and let you do everything. We're not so yeah, you said I'm lazy. So, God, you got no okay. shell. <laughs> no, but I mean you said I'm lazy. So I'll say, okay, go ahead. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll let you roll. Okay. But so, no active. <laughs> yeah. But so then, Kosi, like, uh, how does one get to a place that I'm comfortable with their body size? Like, oh, no, I'm comfortable. This is me. This is who I am. I am big. That's me. The people around you yes. play a very huge role. Yes. Because if uh, if the people around you are very judgmental, yes. you end up you end up being judgmental on yourself. Yes. Um, for me, it's been the people that I play with. Yes. My family, they are supportive. They are okay with my body. Yes. They are comfortable with it. You see now. It's problematic maybe unangena go eat and yeah plus size and angas the baby funu faga about five people or whatever <laughs> but then you, know, you know there is that term ah abanya bantu ngamalendo you know yeah I know I've heard that I've heard that yeah right. that's sarcasm yes. then you're like oh, I'll go like hey ngonga lendi ni it's not my problem yes you know so if you've got a problem buy your own car don't tell me what to I'm a little okay. so, See, but basically, it's all about the people around you. All right. Yeah, because I've I've learned to own my body. You own it, girl. Yes, I own it. My my nephew calls me dude. I'm fine with it. Yes. But I don't like it when someone who doesn't know me just comes and calls comes you and says it's dude. Okay. You don't know me. <laughs> Put my me. That's that's who I am. All fine, right. but you don't have a right to come into my space and call me. Call me You'd that. rather ask me my name. Okay. If I'm going to allow you to call me, do that. Yeah, I'll be like comfortable that. with you. Yeah, okay. so the people around you play a huge role. People can talk about reading self help books and what have yes. you. For me, self help books really don't. But you've read them before. I've read one or two. Yes. For me, they are superficial. Okay. Uh, it's the experiences around me that have strengthened me. Okay. Yeah. You know, I think you have a point. I mean, I've seen in most movies, uh, documentaries in the you know in the US and what of you. Um, I've seen people going to depression, sinking to depression. I've seen like big kids at school being bullied. So much that I'm not gonna say go transfer at school because I'm not comfortable at school. So I think people around you they actually really do help you into accepting who you are. Yes, that's true. So, but, um, like, what would you say to a 16-year-old girl who's a plus size? Don't want to let her know I'm big. It's, it's so difficult because at that age, they are so impressionable. And whatever we say to them, it sticks. It, 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 it really it sticks and it, it affects them. It can even affect them for the rest of their yeah, lives. Yeah, that's teenage, so, that's puberty. And, yeah. yeah. So I can say they need to be self-aware. Yes. Um, they need to surround themselves with people who are supportive. That's true. Because this is when predators, sexual predators come in. Oh, yes. Can you? Yes. Can, yes, yes. Yes. So you find Uti, someone who say, ah, she's big, so... Usem cool. Usem cool. I can do anything with them. Yes. And... The moment a predator comes in and uh, showers them with love or whatever, with praise, yes. they tend to gravitate towards that person, and that's problematic because they end up they end up in the pits. Yes. So self-awareness is very much important. They need to surround themselves with people who accept them for who they are. Yes. If you have friends who criticize you, get away from them because they will make you... Uh, do stuff that you don't necessarily do. do. Yes. And uh, you find that because someone is big, they'll end up doing these fat diets okay. that will affect their health. Yes. Uh, 
every time they eat, they want to, they induce vomiting. And that leads to, to, to eating sad. disorders, anorexia. So you see, your image is important, fine, but the people you are with also yes. play a huge role. So play with people who well, accept, accept you. For you, okay. you, for who you are. That's true. Yeah. So do you think there is one standard of beauty? No, um, there isn't. Yes. Um, okay, let me put it this way. Uh, long back, people were considered real women. Yes. Were plus size women. Yes. You know, they would call them inina. Yes. If it tigers, it Yes, yes. That was the African, okay, yes. let me say for us Southern African yes. people. I think it's still like that though. Like well, it depends on where you are. Yeah, but now the Western media, it's all about being okay. Someone will say I'm hating, but it's all about being sixteen and what have you. That is a real woman. That is the epitome of beauty. But well, I'll say also slender people have been sidelined because I mean, yes. imagine you are being told someone who is bigger than you is considered more womanly than, than you. you. So yes. I wonder how those people felt. But then, to think of it, there is a tribe in Uganda. Yes. When you're about to get married, you are sequestered in some heart so that they fatten you up. <laughs> how is that even possible? Some people are just slender, just slender by nature, right? <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> it's, it's a practice that they okay. do. So, you see, our our standards of beauty are, are that not different. the same. Yes, that's yeah, true. are not the same. So what is good for the next person might not be. You see, if you want to see the the standards of that the standards of beauty are different. Yes. yes. The jokes. I mean, the jokes that you see on social media. Yeah, that's true. You find that big. Big people or plus size people are ridiculed. You find that slender people, people are ridiculed. People well. So you see, someone will go like, ah, hugging a slender person is like hugging a mop. I mean, that's body <laughs> no, shaming. That's, that's, that's mean, that's mean, that's mean. So, so you see, that is a, we, as women, we also allow men, men to, to body, body shame, shame us. us. That's and true. we also bet body shame each other. So you now yes. see. It's problematic because you find someone going like, ah, uh, as big as you are, you think you're going to get a man at your age. You wow. see now? Yes. So, stuff like that. We, we've allowed these things to to go on and for, be for, for, yes. for a long time and we, we keep quiet on them. Yes. Okay. So, I think it's just safe to say beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Yeah, someone will say it lies in the eyes of a beer holder. So hey, <laughs> <laughs> just do you, just yeah, do you, just do you. Yes, but then I've realized there's so much policing of what women of certain size should wear. Would you can't wear something that's too short when you're a plus size woman. You can't wear something that's body hugging. Um, I think on that trend, yes. religion, religion is our worst enemy as women. Yes, there are these so. standards for women. Oh, okay. So, yes. Uh, you can't wear trousers because you're a woman. Because you're a woman. Yes. You can't wear earrings. You can't put on. Can't fancy lipstick. Makeup and makeup yes. and what have you. So religion is one of our main hindrances. Okay. I have a religion that I adhere to. Yes. Uh, but I believe people shouldn't be policed. Yes. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable with why I'm there. Yes. But I believe I shouldn't police others on what they should do. I mean, you should have your freedom on what you want to wear. Sure. Yes. Yeah. And people and express yourself. Yes, yes. Because you see, when you tell people they should wear this, start policing people. You are you are cultivating a rap mentality. This is you. This is why you find some people going like, yes. ah, she was raped. What was she wearing? Yes. Or she was sexually harassed. What was she wearing? It's not your business. You need to train your mind. Yes, that's as a true. You need that's to train true. your mind to say, okay, it's her business. It's not mine. If she, if someone decides to wear revealing stuff, it's that's her it. business. That's it's not yours. Yes. Train your mind to say, okay, I've seen, I'm passing by. Okay. So, so but then how do you think we should fight this, the stigma against bigger women? Um... I wouldn't say people should have support groups <laughs> yeah, because okay. I think that would make it worse. Uh, if you say plus size people should have support groups, it's kind of demeaning. Yes, it is. I'll just say play with people who understand you. Okay. Uh, we need to 
I don't know how we can dismantle yes. the stereotypes in the media because remember most of this is perpetrated by, by the media. media. Yes, please can you just hold it there. Mm -hmm. like, speaking of the media, I've seen some fashion shows. Uh, they've said we have plus size models. Like why why can't you just be a model like can't if I know um zimba wa kumu kulu ba ko? It's 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 the standard that has been set in the How do we normalize modeling. bigger women? I think okay. I think designers also play a role. Yes. You you design stuff for us as well. Yes. yes. Please design stuff for us because obviously someone's like I I can't wear it. Design your mood to is ends unless someone is slender. Yes, that's true. I think it's it's a whole myriad of people, various people that are to blame somehow. Yes. Yeah. I don't know whether I don't know whether it's saving material or whatever. I don't know. No. <laughs> I mean, think of it. You've got uh, all these very slender people uh, on the catwalk and no 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 plus size and they're yeah, thinking okay. okay Oh, even if, if I wanted to, even do if this, I want to buy this, but I can't. I can't. I, I want. I want because yeah. yes, you see now. Yes, because so. I also wanted to ask you, which do you think which the current fashion trends? Do you think they have uh, bigger size women in mind? I want. So I also want, I also wanted to ask you that. Some do. Some do. Some do. Yes. Some do, and unfortunately for us plus size people, I don't know why our designs or clothing is. Very expensive. It's a fact. The other day I was checking this catalog, and um, well, for me, I'm in Zimbabwe. Yes. The green bag, and they're saying a dress is 60 bucks, and I'm thinking, ha. Huh, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. How many? How many dresses can I buy there? Yes. So you see, it's like I'm saying, designers also. Yes. You know, it it you make it expensive being plus size. It shouldn't be it like shouldn't that. Be, it shouldn't be like that. Yeah. I mean. So I shouldn't be punished for being big. That's true. That's yeah. True. So it's true. it's one of those challenges that you tend to face. You go into a shop, there is nothing for plus size people. You know. Okay. Going to a lingerie shop, there is nothing. There is nothing. So you see, it's, it's a huge challenge. Actually, I'll say someone is sleeping on money somewhere. Yes, that's because true. Because one thing, if you've got plus size fashion, it's going to be snapped up. Like, yes, and, and come, fast. To, come to think of it, I think half of the population of Zimbabwean women, they are plus sized. I mean, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, someone is like, sleeping uh, on money. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it is. Yes, that's true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Okay. Um, is it ever okay to mention someone's weight in a conversation? No, it's a huge trigger. Okay. It's a huge trigger. We we have gone weighing. Yes. Um, with one of my friends I know, yes. you don't ask her. All right. How much she weighs, because it's a trigger for her, and I respect that. Yes. Like, I personally don't mind telling you that I'm, I weigh 106 kg. Okay, that's the last time I checked. Yes. For me, it's an achievement because I've weighed 122 kg before. So okay. It's for me that's huge strides. Yes, it is. It is. So, for me, weight for me weight is not a problem. But I believe you shouldn't because it, it. I don't know what it triggers in some people. It's just it's just a no no. It's, it's a no, and I think I can imagine, I can imagine. So, uh, just to just to wrap it up before we go to audience reviews, mm -hmm. like, uh, what can we do to make sure that the following generations, plus size people, all body types, slender, plus sized, and the average body types, people accept their body weights, their uh, weights. I I think okay, like I said, religion. I, I think I mentioned religion. You that did. religion yes, you did. also plays a role. Yes. I think okay with the Christians will tell you that we are all made in the image of God. God yes. So we should accept that everyone is the image of God. Yes. We should accept that they are slender people. I mean, this is what makes us people. Yes, makes we us can, unique. Yeah, we, we can't yes. have everyone being the same size. That's true. I would just maybe say, just try for, try and live a healthy life. Yes. Do your exercise, eat healthy, Okay. You know, just do the ordinary things that make people happy. Don't police people yes. on how they should be, on how they could be. Yes. You know, so I think it's important that we buttress the point that 
everyone is unique and it makes us it makes us who we are. It yes. makes us being different. And it's good. Our we can be united yes. in our facility. Yes. So it's okay to be different. Okay. Because you see what? Uh, for me, it's this, it's, this is the same thing that we do to disabled people. The, yes. So yes. you see, if we if we dismantle that, if we dismantle that, yes. it means it's easier to also accept other, uh, uh, let me say, differently abled people. Yes. So it's important that we accept everyone for who they are. Yes. Yeah. So it's I I, I think maybe I'll say I, I wouldn't say literature. Yes. But maybe the way media perpetuates this plus size, this people, plus slender size people. Slender people, we yes. need to change that. We need to change the narrative. No, okay, that's we need true. to talk about these things. That's true. Yeah, we so need to we need to, sp to spread the word. We need to spread the word in our little yes. circles. That's yeah. true. So okay, um, let's just take a break because then we we'll look at the audience reviews after oh. the break. Okay. This podcast was produced with the financial support of the European Union and the Council Fund. Contents are the sole responsibility of Council Allowed and do not necessarily reflect the views of the European Union and the Culture Fund. Okay, welcome back, Kosi. Thank you. Yes, so um, I just have a few questions from feedback from audiences. Yes. Okay, so the first one says, no one talks about how skinny girls are shamed. We are always told that we are not true African women. Wow. This is obviously a, a slender person. Yeah, um, like I said before, I don't know how they feel yes. because there is this issue of being sidelined. You're not called yes. human. Yes. It's body shaming on its own. It's bad. Yeah, we true. shouldn't allow it. That's true. So um, you should own your being. You should own being slender. Yes. You should say. I'm okay as I am. Yes. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you find that someone really smacks for someone who's slender. slender. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, someone else came came through and said, uh, people always assume that I eat too much yet I'm naturally big bodied. I love my food. <laughs> okay. I, I love my food. Yes, okay. I, I don't like people policing me for what I eat. What amount of food you should eat and what Yes, food where I should eat. eat. You shouldn't make me feel guilty if I get a takeaway. Yes. No, that's wrong. Uh, look, don't allow anyone to police you yes. on what you eat. It's wrong. Don't allow it. It's a no no. You don't eat at okay. their place. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so uh, when you say the most painful part about being a bigger woman is that the same men making fun of my body size on social media are the same men secretly asking me out. We now expose you. Wow. Yes. Because it plays a man being on this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, why comfortable with shaming me in yes. public? Then you want to come. Uh, Nico demands to, yes. to me. No, I'll out you on that one. I want to tell the truth. I'll take a screenshot. Yes. Of your public the ratings. <laughs> yes. And, okay. and show people the hypocrite that, that you, you are. are. To teach people a lesson, stand for what you are. Stand for who you are. Yes. Yeah. The, the moment you do that, I'll, I'll definitely expose you to teach you a lesson. Okay. If you like big bodied women, it's fine. It's no it's no one's business. Of, yes. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So um Omunuti, I'm a big girl and the guy I'm dating is a little on the skinny side. I hate how people are always staring at us. And I'm scared you will start to notice and may not want to be with me anymore. Girl, I want to tell you that I'm engaged to a skinny guy. Yes. 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 And he loves me like that. Uh-huh. With my spare churches. <laughs> so, Congratulations, girl. Yeah. So, uh -huh. look, at the end of the day, if he loves you enough, yes. he doesn't care about, about what size. everyone says. So, yes. look into you. You are the one who's worried about people. Yes, but then it's, probably it's not. all about the two of you. Yes. So, okay. So, um, Omonyuti, growing up, uh, people used to tell me I looked older than my sister, and uh, they still do. And they are family members, so I can't really tell them off. And I, I've heard this with I've never plus sized by to try like by age, issue age, and all that. Yeah, family. I think family is the worst. 
Okay. Family exactly. is the worst because it's older people that knew that you can't tell if you got well. Yes. But sometimes I think it's important to be assertive. Yes. To say, okay, so if I'm looking older than my sister, yes. what changes? How does it affect you? You need to be assertive yes. because um, jibes from family are really head, they headful. Are, they are. Yeah. They because, are. okay, fine, I look older than so and so. Yes. Then what? How does it affect you? Yes. You, you, need, you need to have an out. You need to be assertive. And tell them, People yes. need to know they need to tell the lie. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Okay, so the, the last message that we have, uh, someone said, you're either too fit or too skin or too light or too dark. There's always something wrong with you. There's always just something. People always say something. People always have something to say. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you need, like I said, you need to be self-aware. You need to love who you are. Self-love, you need to, yes. you need to own who you are. Yes. Stop worrying about what other people think about, about you. you. Yes. Surround yourself with people who love you for who you are. Yes. Who accept you as you are, and also make sure you accept them for who they are. That's true. Don't be the cry baby. Don't be a victim. That's true. You should true. stop being victims. Don't be a victim. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Posey, for joining us. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. And thank you for tuning in to Girls Aloud, brought to you by Zim Culture Fund. Join us next time as we talk about more interesting girl stuff.